Can you end your contract after two years and come back as a freelancer? Yes, you can come back as a freelancer. It's no problem. A freelancer visa. It's your wish you can come back. Yes. What about the steps for you to come back after completing your, your, your contract of two years with the sponsorship under the company and you wish to come back under the freelancer? What are you supposed to know? What do you need to know as a person? What do you need to prepare yourself? In this video, I'm going to let you know and share with you what definitely you expect and what definitely you should prepare with and what definitely you need to know. By the way, if it's a first time across coming across this channel, don't forget to subscribe. It is Max from the Max Creation uh, TV from I am Max giving all the updates. My TikTok account is Max Creation at I am Max giving you all the updates. Yes, let's talk about ending the contract. Ending a contract under what we call the work sponsorship. Yes, most of us have got into a scenario that we don't wish to work for the companies anymore. Or we don't wish to work under the conditions of someone anymore. We want to be ourselves. We want to have our own housing. We have to have our own freedom. We have to we want to have space away from the direction or directive or under the custody of someone's accommodation that is under what we call the work sponsorship. So this is when you plan and say, okay, fine. Now I'm planning, I'll end my contract, I'll save my money, then I'll come back on what you call a freelancer visa. What do you call a freelancer visa? Also something that you need to know about the freelancer visa. It's really not a free visa. It is in the custody of one of the nationals, or who is called a sponsor. But that sponsor that does not employ you, does not give you transportation, does not give you uh, food, does not give you accommodation, he only gives you what you call his visa to be used in his name or his company. You are under that company, but that company does not employ you. It tells you, go and look for your own work. So you become a freelancer. You learn out. You look for your own work. You look for your accommodation. You look for your transportation. You take care of your own medical. What his role as the visa owner is only to renew your residence permit because you cannot renew your residence permit by yourself, what we call the QID. So he has to renew your ID, what we call end or every end of the year. You want to take the medicals, he will be there on those papers. So what we call a freelancer. So when you want to come back as a freelancer, it's okay. You can come back as a freelancer, you have the right. But in this situation, look at very many things before you think about that. Yes, you want to come back as a freelancer. Because remember, when you want to come back, you will first have to exit the country to the nearest entry, then you can make re-entry. So if you've been under sponsorship of what you call a security company, and you can want to come back as a freelancer visa, what you will need to do, this visa will first, you will first resign and exit the country, then come back on your visa which is a freelancer visa and that freelancer visa you will come back into the country it will be processing to the country then you get your medical with your new sponsor who is giving you that visa and get your QID then he will tell you now go start looking for your own work but remember you are under my sponsorship under no supervision at all so what happens most of the times when you want to come back this visas which must be got from companies that are giving out visas yes it is who is that person to be trusted that is the question that you need to ask yourself and you need to know yes if you have that person that you feel think that company you trust that when you exit they will give you the visa to come back yes well and good you you pay for it then you come back in the country you start the struggle to look for job, to look for accommodation. If you have money saved aside, it's well and good. You can start up for yourself. It's okay. But where the problem comes from is that most of the times we do not have the trusted people. Even those companies that we tend to trust, they do not give us exactly 100% or even 50% of what we need. So we end up ending, we end up getting in two tiers and having what we call regrets. The other disadvantage part of it all that would have what we call freelancer visa is that a company or what we call a company may give you its visa, but the company has a lot of problems. The company will give you a freelancer visa for two months 
after two months you find the company is closing down so you are, are left into the space like this you don't have anywhere to run to it's only that company where you have the visa will have to give you an noc to go to another company for change so all those kind of assets be prepared to have those to get to face all those kind of challenges if you are to stand up and to live on what we call freelancer visa you need to be strong and you need to be one person that can accept that if this comes i have an option or i have part part b that i can deal with this is one way or the other then you need to know that under the freelancer you are on your own you'll take care of your feeding by yourself you'll take care of your accommodation by yourself all those are expenses but if you are prepared well enough for you to take care of those expenses there's no problem you can start up you'll have to look up a job of your own at that time remember all those ones are in bond by you the the person who has the visa you have to look for the job that is going to give you the amount of money or salary that is going to be paying your rent or is going to be paying you your transportation and will be taking care of the accommodation or what even what we call the medicals so the person who asked me ending your contract and coming back as a freelancer visa it's okay you'll have freedom but there's a lot of things that you'll be bound by you or there's a lot of things that you'll definitely you'll be paying as a person unless unless you are sure that you are going to get a very good job that has that man that will be able to cater after to cater to cater for you or to cater for your life otherwise that will be the only way that i can let you understand it in that kind of situation hope i've tried to share up something for you thank you so much for supporting remember it's next from the next question giving you all the updates and giving you everything that you need to know